So welcome back to the part 2, today we're gonna do dropping for the little company inventory system. So let's just get into it, I'm just gonna stop yapping, you know. So in the inventory system we're gonna create a new function called drop item. So we're gonna get the root info or the information, we're gonna get it, right? Yeah, we're gonna get the reference. Then we're gonna select the slot just to get a ref, not a copy. We're gonna break it, right? We're gonna from the item class is valid and break it. Well, not break it, but branch it. So now we're gonna do spawn actor from class. The class will be the item class. Plug that in. Spawn transfer, just split that. We don't, you know, we just, we split that. Get the player's reference that we casted. Um, get the drop arrow thingy. Get world location. So it's basically the same thing we are doing right there. Uh, except we are um, skipping this node and we are skipping this node. And uh, that's basically. <laughs> You're skipping some stuff, you know, uh, because basically we already have the dropping drop system right here. So now picking up from the item info, set uh, array element, selected slot, plug that in. The item is I have no idea what's the item. We probably don't need it. Uh, get the slot, uh, slot something that we created. Slot, slot icon. Yeah. Uh, selected. I don't think we need that, but uh, let's just have that. So it should technically work. So if we go to master player, find out right here. I already did it. I already tested out, you know, so just in case it doesn't work. So let's do a Q key, inventory system, and drop. This is hard coding, but I don't really care. So if we pick it up and if we press Q. Bam! See? We skipped so many nodes. And for example, we select this node and press this one. Oh no, I, I pressed the wrong one. Sorry. Uh, if I press this one, you can see I just replaced it. I can drop it. I can pick this up. I can pick this up. I can pick this up. Press Q, drop it, you know, I just don't need it and stuff. Besides all that, um, the scrolling, right? I don't really like the scrolling because you can see you can scroll forward, but you cannot really, I guess, scroll again. So you have to scroll backwards, forwards, backwards. I don't like that. So, on the mouse wheel up, so whenever it gets to. So, uh, so basically, how it's going to work, you can see, like here we have. Um, Checking if the selected slot is equal to the max slot. So, if it's true, uh, we're gonna set the selected slot to zero to the first slot, basically. Let's take this one, plug this into here, plug that into that, plug this into that, and bam! For the mouse wheel down, it's the same thing. We are going to set it to the max slot. Bam. And again, copy and paste the thing. Bam. So basically what we're doing, if it equals... Nobody cares! You can see, if we scroll up, it's going to basically infinity in infinite... <laughs> You can see uh, how my body is going. So this is uh, zero, one, two, three, four, and again zero, one, two, three, four. Scrolling backwards, it's the same concept. You can see I'm now scrolling backwards, scrolling forwards, backwards. So you can see 